Hello everyone, this is Dan and Kai from Crescent Mortgages coming to you with more of our Thank yous. frequently asked mortgage questions. And today's topic is going to be, what are we talking about today, Kai? Valuations. Mortgage, mortgage valuation reports. Um, before we jump into it, as always, if you can like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions for us, you can either leave them in the comments or if you want to contact us directly, we are um, regulated and authorised mortgage brokers, um, then you can hit the banner, which should be popping up at some point in this video, and uh, you can message us directly through our website. First of all, mortgage valuation report. So the reason we're doing this today is because we actually, we do get a lot of kind of questions and confusion from our clients in this area. People hear the term valuation, they hear the term survey, and they the people just don't really understand kind of what it is, what it's for, or, or who organizes it. What's so the, what's the difference in valuation and survey? Good question. There's not really any difference at all. A valuation and a survey are pretty much the same thing. There are different levels of it, but ultimately it's the same thing. So it's just, a surveyor going and having a look at a property to confirm that they're happy with the condition and the valuation of the property, um, so the value of the property. But there are different levels of it, but ultimately it is the same thing. So I guess, first of all, can I maybe tell them there are, so there are usually three main types yeah. of, of valuation or survey, if you want to give a bit of info there. Yeah, yeah, so you've got three, your most your cheapest and basic and mandatory valuation is the basic valuation, sometimes referred to as mortgage valuation. Um, you then come up from there for a home buyer's report, um, which is the middle ground, and then a full structural. So they, they obviously get more, comp the, the higher you get, you go up, the more comprehensive they get. So the home buyer's report, as he said, yeah, and the more expensive they get. So home buyer's report, like he says, middle of the road, they kind of give a bit of a traffic light system in terms of red, amber, and green in terms of certain issues with the property that you may want to get looked at in more detail. Um, and then the full structural survey where they will really look at the property in, in a lot of detail and they should really pick up any kind of possible issues that the property may have. Um, what I guess, why would someone go for a, a home buyers or a, a full structural survey? Yeah, so it's probably two reasons. Um, I would say that, you know, if you're buying a 1800s cottage, then you might be worried that things are going to fall down. If you're spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on a property, you might want to know that it's all right and it's not going to cause you problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but the other one is, is the more comprehensive reports, the home buyers and, and full structural, you do have some sort of comeback against the surveyor if they make a mistake or get it wrong, um, which can be quite useful again if you're spending yeah. a lot of money. Whereas if you go for just the basic mortgage valuation, which like we say is the minimum that you will have to go for, hmm. then um, the lender is just acting on behalf of the, sorry, the surveyor is just acting on behalf of the lender. So if they miss anything or there's issues with the property and you go on and complete on that property, unfortunately there's, there's nothing you can do. The surveyor wasn't acting on your behalf and, and, and that, that property is then your problem even if there are major issues with it. Um, as Kai mentioned at the start, the mortgage basic valuation is, is mandatory to, to get a mortgage. So as part of the mortgage assessment, the lender has to carry out a valuation. How much um, does it cost normally? Normally, it's free. With a lot of lenders, they'll give you a free basic valuation these days. Um, but there are still one or two that will charge you, but usually it's, it's relatively cheap. Um, but on the whole, they, they are free. Um, and they, like I say, that is a mandatory part of the mortgage process. But you don't need to organize that. You don't need to, you know, your solicitor doesn't need to organize that. The bank will organize that and they will usually send a surveyor to the property to have a quick look at, um, and, and basically come back with a valuation and to let them know if there's any kind of major problems. Um, I guess maybe just highlight the different types of basic valuation. Yeah, yeah, probably briefly. Uh, you know, a, a basic valuation isn't always a surveyor or valuer coming out to the property to, to look over it. Um, they may do it through the computer and simply look at properties in the area that have been sold. Um, or they might just drive past it and make sure it looks like a detached house like you said it was. And that might be enough, yeah. um, which is, is sometimes a bit quicker and a bit easier. Yeah, so you don't really have a say in what one they go for, but the, the bank will determine what type of valuation they're going to, what type of basic valuation they're going to complete. Um, but yeah, you can either have a physical drive-by or an online or desktop valuation. Anything else to add, Kai? No, I think that summarises valuation score. Well. Yeah, I think. Yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, it's a relatively simple subject, but I think, again, a lot of people just kind of get, get the, the, the terms a little bit confused. Um, which yeah makes it a bit more difficult but it is pretty straightforward mm. but if you do have any questions you can either leave them in the comments or hit the banner which again should be popping up somewhere on the screen and um, and drop us a message directly through our website and we can obviously come back to you and, and discuss it in, in more detail 
Have a great day and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Thanks.